Hi, and welcome to the 11th and last video screencast of this how-to series on HTML2 WordPress. And in our previous tutorial, we've looked at the use of plugins in order to enhance our WordPress site. And now in this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to incorporate code snippets in order to do the same thing. Now, I'm sure you've seen plenty of top 10 or top 20 or whatever lists of useful uh, WordPress code hacks, etc. on various, I don't know, popular design blogs. Um, however, most of the time, things just never seem to work as the way the tutorials say they should. And this is usually due to just minor differences between the way your theme is set up compared to the way the author's theme is set up. Or it could be due to just changes to the code packages as new versions come out. And so in this screencast, we will start off by following a tutorial on how to integrate pagination on our WordPress theme. And then after that, do some debugging in order to get it to actually work. And this is essentially just how things work. Essentially, you do have to fix up things when it comes to using other people's code for your own work. Okay, so let's get started. First, let's take a look at the tutorial. So this is the tutorial we're following in the screencast. Um, this is it's titled "How to Integrate a Paginated a Pagination in Your WordPress Theme," and it's by John Baptiste uh, Jung um, on Cats Who Code. And as usual, I've included the link to this article in the resources section. So in case you want to look at it, refer back, you can. Now, according to the description here, um, this code hack will provide us with a better uh, post-pagination system by directly integrating this uh, WP uh, page navi plugin into our theme. And so now if we let's look at our existing site. Uh, currently in our site you will see that our paginations are we don't rather we don't have a pagination system. Instead we have a series of next and previous links in order to navigate um, the pages of our contents. And then after installing the pagination system, you'll get something that looks like this. So you have um, pages in which it displayed the complete total number of pages of content you have. And then you have links to each one. So you can click on it and it will take you to page three of your content, etc. And you can also go backwards and forwards. All right, so let us get started by following his tutorial. Okay, so according to his tutorial, the first thing we need to do is to download the plugin. So um, once you've downloaded the plugin, you should unzip it. And I've, um, well, just hit the download link. It will take you to the plugin page for this uh, WP Page Navi plugin. Just hit the download button. And it would give you um, a file, a zip file to download in which you should unzip it. And then after you unzip it, you would get a folder that looks like this. So let's just go back to the tutorial. And he said to uh, copy and paste the following files into your theme directory. So you need two files, um, the WP uh, dash page navi dot php file as well as a wp dash page navi dot css. Now, if you look at the files, we have uh, we don't need the options. We need this one and that one. So, copy both of those files. Copy two items and then go into your WordPress theme directory. So it's under WordPress that themes our practice theme directory folder and then just paste them in here edit paste items perfect so you can see that our two files uh, wp dash page navi.php and the css file is included in the folder okay so that step is done what else do we need to do the next thing he said is to um, go in the file to be edited 
which is either um, index.php categories or search, etc. So we'll just be doing the index.php file in this uh, video screencast. So open up that file. Um, but again, in your practice theme folder, find your index file. Open that. Perfect. And now it says to find your navigation set of links and then replace it with this code below, which uh, will include the PHP file that we've just downloaded, the page navy. And then if that function exists, to um, use the function. Okay. So we just go in, grab the code, copy it. And then go back into our index.php file, look for the navigation link system, which is right here. So just take that out and then replace it with our new uh, code and then save it. And now he says to reload the theme page and you see that nothing should happen. So go back to our theme page and hit reload. Well, you see, well, maybe not nothing has happened, but essentially our page navigation system link has disappeared, but nothing yet appeared on this page in terms of the pagination. Okay, let's just read on to the next step. He's saying that this is because we have not initiated the page uh, navigation function. And in order to do so, we need to find this line of code inside the... Um, wp page navy.php file. Sorry, right here. So let's open that file. Going back to our folder, find the file, open that. Yes, please. Okay. All right, now we need to find the line with the function of wp underscore page navy. So the easiest way I find is just to use the search function find and then plunk that in and find next and then I guess this is a function we want so just double check to make sure this is what we need so we have function uh, uh, function name before is equals to blah after is equal to blah that looks okay global blah 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 perfect so this is the spot where we want and now we need to initialize the, um, the function using this init Function. So in order to do that, we need to go in and copy this line of code and then put it in after the uh, WordPress query. So right there, I'm just going to add um, two lines of space just so I know this is where I added it in. So uh, calling the init function. So usually whenever I add code like that, I like to put in as a side comment, um, um, insert it, insert. Code. Okay, now he said to save it and refresh the page. And we have kind of a pagination system, except that the, uh, the styling is not correct. Obviously, the CSS has not been in place yet. So he's saying that the next step we should do is to include the CSS file. So to go to the header.php file and then find the line and then add in this line of code. Okay, fine. So let's just open up our file. Again, going back to our practice theme folder, find the header file, header.php, open that up. And then... Okay, so we have the style sheet for our own style sheet. Let's add in an extra line and put in the style sheet for the page navigation system, which is just this line of code, apparently. And then copy it. And then in our page, paste it. And it didn't paste completely. Great. Okay, so since it didn't paste completely, let's just type our code in. So it's just this. Maybe, yeah, it's just the usual. There we go.